Ambassador Winston Thompson, the good wife Quinny, um, Professor Jess just been called away as we've heard. Your Excellency is Ambassador High Commissioners, Head of Missions and members of the Diplomatic Corps, Senior Government Officials, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Some of not going to very good evening to you all. Thank you for inviting my wife and I to dinner this evening. As we've heard, it's uh, traditional that uh, the um, Pro Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor host a dinner um, like this um, when we uh, conclude the graduation ceremonies. And um, I'd like to acknowledge and thank. Uh, the uh, kind just inviting us to be with you here tonight. Uh, but more importantly, for giving me an opportunity to make some brief remarks. It's been a very long day, so I'll keep it very short. <laughs> and I also wish to start by acknowledging the hard work of the University of South Pacific, now including especially the senior management team, the lecturers, the staff, and friends, our corporate sponsors, lecturers and friends of the university, thank you for all that you've done that have culminated in another very successful graduation ceremony that started on Tuesday night, the whole of today, and I was told to be completed tomorrow, because I don't think my knees are not going to stand another day of standing there for a couple of hours. When they get to my age, you know, with the old Join status quick. The fact that we have had to conduct three graduation sessions for an increasing number of students speaks volumes of the university's efforts to remain the premier tertiary institution in the region and to secure the interests of more students, parents, and sponsors. I'm aware that the university, through its new strategic plan, is also setting itself up to be among the top tertiary institutions in the world. I believe that this will be relative to our region's socioeconomic circumstances, and this is highly remarkable and commendable, and I'd like to congratulate everybody. Thank you for the hard work. At the graduation ceremonies today, we not only heard of the increasing number of students, but also of the increasing number of female students for graduating. The statistics, statistics shared by the Vice Chancellor indicate that females are numbering the males in most disciplines of study. This has to be recorded as a significant milestone in our effort to break away from the traditional cultural norm where females were expected to play a secondary role to males. It would appear that the Pacific region is coming of age. No longer are women restricted to the domestic front. They are now allowed to further the interest in academia and in the industries. Well done, women. Not long ago, we celebrated Day of the Women. I congratulate the women and the girls in the region for this turnaround in the elements of academia in our region. I also acknowledge that the university has and continues to do its part in facilitating this gender parity through its enrollment processes that is done or that are done without any form of discrimination. I also have no doubt that the vast majority of regional leaders have had some form of association with the university. Wherever I had been to since I took over as the Chancellor of the University, I was amazed, in fact, very impressed with a number of regional leaders, senior officials in government and the private sector who had a connection to the university. That's a plus for the university. And I'd like to thank past, present, and now future officials um, who had anything to do with the promotion of ESP uh, over the years and up until today. And not only that, you know, as I have just mentioned, I'd like to congratulate the university 
Kotei agrees by the facility in this gender parity through its enrollment process that is done without any form of discrimination, as I've said. Uh, it's so good to see that happen. It's about time. I also have no doubt that the vast majority of our future students who will be enrolled in the university will continue um, their hard work. And I think the message is for you and I as um, fathers, um, the male members of the community, we just have to uh, dig deep and uh, try and compete and keep up with our women folk. USP has come a long way since it opened its doors in 1968, as we've heard, 50 years ago, and down the line it has continued to do wonders in the region. And of course we have the governments of the university member states to thank for in continuing to invest in the university. My part as a Chancellor University during its 50th anniversary um, this year I wish to invite the Pro Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, to submit nominations for consideration under the Fiji Honors and Award Act of 1995. I believe that they have been past, present, and probably future. Um, friends of the university and officials who deserve to be um, acknowledged for their tremendous work in promoting the university. Now, the Act recognizes individuals who have contributed to Fiji's, or to Fiji's development as a nation in any field of endeavor, including uh, the USP and academia. My invitation is based on the cultural appreciation which I started promoting since I took over in 2015. I believe that inculcating a cultural appreciation will further inspire a sense of national unity, patriotism, and even greater productivity among our fellow Fijians. The Act not only recognizes the contribution of Fijian citizens, but also of non-Fiji citizens as well. It recognizes contributions across the whole range of human endeavor, including, but not limited to government, local administration, industry, diplomacy, health, education, law, arts, sports, news media, environment, youth development, charity, and indeed all other areas in which service to the nation is identified. I will have my office formalize the invitation to the Pope Chancellor in the next few days. In fact, I also have present here with us tonight Dr. Akanisi Kenriat, the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Law and Education of the USP, to thank for, for progressing this culture of appreciation. Dr. Kenriat, for your information, as a gentleman, chairs the Fiji College of Art, which makes recommendations to me as the Chancellor of the College. And I certainly look forward to more nominations from uh, the university uh, management. The college has also extended the nominations for the 2017 recipients until 29th of March, another week from today. So for those who may not necessarily be part of the university and still wish to do so, make nominations for 2017, you're most welcome to do so, and I look forward to hearing from you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for all your contributions to the university and especially to growing the intellectual capacity of our region's human resources. Well done with our level. Thank you and may God bless you all.